Okay, Colonel Shukla, the one concern is a lot of people in the defense of the army say the number of incidents hasn't gone up. It isn't as if officers have become more corrupt, the media has become more vigilant because certain corps like the supply corps, like the ordnance corps have always within army circles had a reputation of being, how do I put this diplomatically, maybe a little more corrupt than say some of the fighting corps. Now they're saying that the army is not getting more corrupt by the day, the media is getting more vigilant and pinpointing these incidents which otherwise in years and decades gone by wouldn't have come to light. Well, I think it would be incorrect to say or to let the message go out in any way that this is widespread corruption within the Indian Army. I still believe two things. Number one, that these people who were caught were in the minority, not in the majority. Oh, they do not reflect the Army's ethos and way of functioning in general. Second thing I can guarantee you, I, I, I mean, you, you, you see it from now, within three months from today, it is in all likelihood that these people would have got cashiered from the army, court-martialed and out. Nowhere else in this country is justice dispensed as swiftly as it is in the army. Now, whether this is an expanding trend, whether this is, I mean, it, it's very hard to tell whether this is actually due to a more vigilant media or due to the fact that the army, by its continuing contact with civil society in general, is actually getting more exposed to their values, to the war, broader values outside. Now, the pay commission has been a very, very, very good step. Small, petty crimes, kind of, you know, just a few hundred rupees, a thousand rupees here and there, it will by and large stop. And I mean, it doesn't really matter whether they bought a 10 rupee thing for 6,400 rupees. Corruption is corruption. So to that extent, as long as there's a broader message coming out that we have institutional systems that are in place, and we will do it, then I think Manoj's point is valid. You need to take but action and they will. There are concerns also about how civilian vehicles day in, day out, manage to enter these highly sensitive, and I've been to Jodhpur and Ambala in these cantonments and see how sensitive those cantonments are and what the lay of the land over there is. They've come in day in, day out. They're meeting these officers. The local intelligence unit of the army seems to be asleep or doing God alone knows what, and nobody found out that this was happening. That is deeply disconcerting. These are all, these are just reporters who are doing this. What if they were ISI agents with far more nefarious plans? These officers have been corrupted for 6,000 rupees. What if somebody were willing to pay 6 crores or 6 lakhs? No, you're absolutely right. You see, the thing is that I think uh, General Malik and I think uh, uh, Ajay Shukla are making... At the end of the day, army is all about leadership. And I think leadership is an extremely important component of this entire uh, issue. And I think what we want to see now, see, Ved has spoken about the fact that people, and Ajay has also said that they're going to crack down very hard, etc. I have this simple point. Why don't you tell us who you punished? Why do you keep that secret? Why should that be a secret of the thing? Why don't you put out a list and say, Officer X was this thing, he was uh, court-martialed, convicted. Let General Malik respond to your point. You no, made I don't this want point earlier. Of, uh,